Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Mama Set, and we're playing City Skylines on our Let's Play of Animalia. And in the last episode, we were happily reminded by the game that we have a large airport. Now, I was thinking about sticking it in this area, but apparently we've got an awful lot of slope to sleep problems. And it's generally bad aerodynamic practice to have runways pointing at each other. So we've already got Ocelot Air there, so we are probably going to be looking at moving our new shiny airport somewhere else. Now, putting the divot in the same way of sense, this is this area here, but again, it's telling me that this area, this land, is simply not flat enough. So it looks like we'll be sticking it over here. Now, let's find a bit of space. So, this is quite a large airport. So let's have the terminals. Run out of the angles. Let's have the terminals facing our city. Now, we have a decision how much how close do we want the noise to get. So we don't want it we want this in nice proximity. We want it to line up nicely with everything else, but I think about there which we'll do. So there is our new big airport. A large amount of happy faces coming off it. So we need to work out how we're going to connect this up. So there's the road that goes with it. There's our runway and our airport. Nice. Does this come with a subway station? It does. It comes with a subway station. Okay, so we'll be connecting that up pretty easily. So, let's plug that in. And drag that route out to there. There we go. Okay, you got two stops there? Yes, you do. Good. Right, so that's that. That's the you know, new international airport connected up to Monkey Connects. So you can go straight from there all the way into the absolute heart of our the old city into the heart of the new city. But first things we need to do is also connect up the roads. So nice arc shape to it. So I wonder if we cannot continue that pattern out. This is a two way road, is it not? Yes it is. Good, 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 good. No. I don't want to too many negotiations, but let's go back to about there, which also. Okay, right. So, I was thinking about adding some kind of new. I just noticed we missed a spot. Office. Paint. Thank you. Um, some kind of new high density kind of commercial area or new district in this thing, but uh, what we want is do we need hotels? and things like this right next to our area. And what better place to take a lot of hotels and res uh, leisure areas than in the airport area described by our airport. So we've got a... That's quite a big chunky road, but it is the same grade as the other connection roads we've got here. So let's build ourselves a district. Um, one last thing we need to do is let us connect up with a special route. Let us go from... Here to let's see, let's stop. Let's call that arrivals, departures, and let's call that arrivals. And we'll also have you stop there, there, already once there, once along that road, and come back. We'll also drag out a couple stops in there. We'll probably have you stop it on the shore. Grand. Alright, so that was bus line 48. We need a name for our airport, don't we? Or at least the district. It will be a leisure district. Leisure district? No, it's going to be a touristy district because we want hotel like. So. Paint the district, erase district, paint the district. We've not got a district for our center point yet. All right, well, let's uh, paint in that first. And it's going to be called Prospect Park. That'll do for now until we can come up with a better name. In fact, what I will probably do, I will go here. I will be called this to be named. Because I want feedback from you, dear watcher. Policies. I would like recycling. 
smoke wood description, free public transport in this area. Taxation. Yes, I want let go for leisure. I don't actually have any leisure buildings in here. City planning. I want high tech housing. Old town. Any residents, visitors have air and motor vehicles can use this district. I'm going to leave that one off for now. So we're on this district there. So let's paint in our other district, which is going to be our touristy area. It's a little triangle. Let's uh, just make sure we capture the edge of this. All of the buildings in here. I'm going to end up missing anything. It would be embarrassing. Yep, okay, I'm happy with that. You can just see it bending as it goes down the cliff side we've got over here. That was fun getting that sorted out. Right, airport, roads. I want nice roads. Well, all we have for the central district, we went for a four lane road first for that. So let's, let's oppose the curve like that. And then we will run lots of Pleasant Roads off this. It's going to be a high density area, so let's compact that a bit more, shall we? No, straight, thank you. And then come out from here to here. And then to separate the junction, let's come out the center. That nice chevron shape that we used so effectively over in the mole circle. Hillside Hills. Thank you, game. No, this is not Hillside Hills. This is Hill Parks. No, no, even better. With an airport. Eagle Skies. And we are going to specialize this for tourism. Hotel accommodation, restaurants and activities. Tourist area, thank you very much. And I would like that to be a High density commercial district. Not quite all of it. We will. Well, I've got to remember a lot of this is within the area of area of area of within the area of the noise of it. So we will take that out in there. I'm going to put offices instead because they don't require anywhere near as much. Requirement. So this will fill up quite slowly. Um, the simple fact that it's going to take a while. In the interim, we can make sure that the airport has power. Right. Water. I'm liking the shape of this district. It's got a, a naturalness to it. Just using the arc coming off the airport. Okay, letting that do the work for us. Right. Garbage disposal, happy with. Got a great big hospital over there, but it doesn't help us, it doesn't hurt us to have another one in. Just do the usual things we do, the one just sticking in the middle of the district. All those important buildings. I don't think we need any more schooling in this area. We will need that bus route comes in and goes out that way. Don't need an MTR station in the middle of it because we've already got everything we want. Probably. Yes, what we will do is we will grab this line and make you come in and loop round. Going that way round? Yes, yeah, go that way round. Just so we can make sure we've got all the happiness we need over there. What we will do is we will put a some parks in. A pair of them there. I'm talking about this being a touristy area. 
So we will want the skate park. I don't think we're going to fit that in. Oh, or maybe not. Yes, yes, we can. A riding stable, because you know tourism apparently. And that's beach volleyball. So we got basketball court. It's all going to improve quality of life for our people right here. Just going to keep sticking these in in a row along here. Uh, don't want a football field. Probably will have a sunken plaza directly opposite the airport. We've already got a botanical garden over there. A small park. Yes, but we can probably do better than that. We can get a big ass park in there and there. Just double check we've got a power line. Otherwise that would be embarrassing. So the power connects through the middle here. Power uh, doesn't quite connect over there. Does reach around this way. Okay, happy with that. Bus route's in. Don't we need any more of these? Don't need any more power. So let's just put a path in there. It should mean you can walk across that plaza from here across and just straight into this district. I don't have to worry about getting too much further, and we will probably. We will do that. We will be moving over. Let's switch you over to that side so that I can put a path into there, into there, just to link it up just a little bit better. All about the connectivity. And then we will get our tree brush. Tree brush, what we want. Trees with leaves. Big tree brush. Trees! Trees. Lots of trees. Trees with leaves too? Yes, trees with leaves too. Tree brush. Trees. Trees. And then we will make the brush slightly smaller. We will trim the trees from the airport. Alright, because you don't have trees where planes can hit them. It's embarrassing. You wouldn't like it. it. Ruins their days. So, there we go. There's a nice new little bit of extra district gone in. It's that time to go on. I don't I suspect we'll get an awful lot of buildings coming in. Could you possibly be complaining about it? There we go. Thank you. Right, go back over there where I wanted you. It's because of the junction got, in, got, got it confused. Not looking like we're getting some commercial bonus going in, but we do have a demand for hotels. And I like it. The size of this. You are Hotel Intercontinental. It works right well with an international airport, so near the dinging of all people being happy that we've got all these ones in along here. Let's. Our new bus route Eagle Skies. Yeah, so there's the bus route. So that's. The Eagle Skyline, yay! Bonus points for invoking the name of the game. We will make this a ever so slightly pale blue. Done. There's that bus route in. How are we doing on supplies? We have a low amount of high school availability, apparently. Yeah, I can uh, I can see that. We will put one there. Manage that capacity up a little bit. Anything else complaining? Jail, coloratorium, cemetery uses, fire hazard, crime rate. Now we use zero because we don't actually have any. Plenty of electricity and water. Overall, I think the city is looking really quite good. Now we have an international airport. Let's uh, push the roads button and unpush the roads button to get back. So as the sun rises. That's really pretty. I love the blur on this. The sun rises, we see the shadows over eagle skies. Nice. I'm liking the location of this airport. I'm liking the layout. I like the angle. I like the shape. I like the beautiful hotels. Now, 
great big tower we've got in the distance over there. Nice. Very nice. So, we've got a few more minutes on this episode. Let's have a look at how our junctions are doing. You are not screwed up. You are not too badly screwed up. Bit of a traffic jam going in. However, it's moving. This is no she's still moving. And people are shunting around lane-wise. I could probably help this if I make that. Wow. Love the love bug. <laughs> I hadn't spotted the love bugs previously. We grab traffic presidents, change the lane arrows, and make it so that you can go straight on on that junction. Because otherwise this lane it isn't really being used as much. I am kind of tempted to question the traffic lights there. Let's turn them off. No traffic lights. Be free! Does this help, or do we end up in a situation where the traffic from here, which is apparently bagging up a little bit, just prevents any movement on this line? So what I ideally like is the option to some of the other traffic mods you used to be able to get before various things went in and out of date let you precisely the traffic plus plus map lines so I would just have this line going to that and, there and this one so these guys wouldn't be getting in each other's way so what we could possibly look at is the various wider roads I have available to me let's try that one Let's put the traffic light back in for me. Not necessarily that helpful. But, um. Roads do I have? What's this? Eight lane road, four on each side. Interesting. Interesting. Eight lane road. Yeah, I gather you're pretty unhappy. It's an ugly road. Thank you, ambulance, for that deafening amount of noise. And you are partially snarled here. Partially... This seems to come and go. It depends on just busyness on the roundabout. But uh, I'm kind of interested to see what kind of traffic we'll get coming across this bridge. Yeah, it's it's capable. Oh, pleasant noise, rather than something noisy. Various buses. More ambulances. Noisy ambulances when you get that, that, that close. I think we are beginning to see some houses appear over here. You are complaining that you don't have enough workers. Well, that will settle out once we get more people building and enjoying this wonderful district of owls. There are indeed people using these to get between places, which is good to see. So overall, this previous selection of building appears to have gone reasonably okay. Go away, ambulances, you're noisy. I'm going to get someone to land, which is giving us some noises. You have garbage, apparently. Well, isn't that interesting? What are you doing? You don't appear to be snarled up. It's good to see you're moving. You apparently still don't have any power. These buildings keep unpopping, do they? Throw that out there just to get that connected back up. Again on the corner over here. I am beginning to suspect that as we're building offices, um, we're seeing buildings moving. Look at this, this is a high rise area with all these lovely hotels. There we go. There's a jet plane with a load of passengers on it as well. You're going to see a load of people suddenly pop out of the airport. Or they should just get stuck straight onto the MTR. Yeah, there you go. Pouring into the station. 
I'm assuming that there is a train is going to be coming along at some point. So, so we are going to have to do in that case is we are going to up our budget. We've got a vast amount of money. So let us up the amount of money we're spending on our buses, our metro, and our train lines. And that as well. Why? Because I basically want to have more trains. I want to load more trains and a load more buses. But where's our where is our bus depot? Is that the bus depot? Yeah, that's the bus depot. This should now spit out a load more buses. Of all colours and lines and directions. We're just gonna absolutely flood them. Which is fine by me, because I want more buses. Don't mind about the extra traffic. Fussed about a lot of things. There are no passengers, and there goes that plane. So there are people coming out onto here and getting into cars, and love bugs, and taxis. Taxi rank. Taxi rank. You're gonna have an airport. You've got to have a taxi rank. I said, I'm not entirely sure how these people are meant to cross. Um, if I put a Can I put a road on there? I'm going to go all the way out here to cross over. Or no ability to get them onto the other side of the road easily. So we'll be moving you down there. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this international airport. That woman got on the plane with a dog. Maybe she worked there with her dog. Wow. You've got 200 passengers, 11 passengers, so you're not going anywhere from anywhere nice. Don't like blue air. Okay, you're not providing enough people. 159. Nope, this is that one. Wow, that's a lot of people suddenly appearing and dumping onto my MTR system. Hopefully more trains. I am almost tempted. Given that the Monkey Connect is such a long line at the moment. Yeah, I think we'll get, make that the last thing we'll do in this episode. Is we will drag the Monkey Connects back from the airport. And we'll put a separate line in. meets up do I want good service from the airport to my city centre there we go the monkey connects will come in to the city centre on that platform and depart, whereas that one will come in on that platform and depart, so not, they shouldn't get in each other's way. So we now have a new no, button, 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 button. We now have a new metro line, which we will do with the very pale blue we did previously. We will call that Eagle... We have the Eagle Skyline, this is underground. So it'd be the well, it's Eagle Connect. So we follow on our rest of our pattern. So yeah, nice. So that should spawn a shed load of new trains. Which will significantly improve the connection. Uh, I've got a six way station there. I could have plugged the airport in its own unique connection just from there to there and not have it stop there at all and then leave Monkey Connects going out to there. Hmm. I'm happy with the solution we've got here. We'll leave that as a direct airport link. So if we, when we build out this way, we will most likely come off from this junction and have a, a new line that comes in 
rather than making one connect any longer because I think it's got to the point now where it's so long but just simply not there's not enough trains to fill all the gaps. So thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen. This has been another episode of Let's Play City Skyline with Animalia. We built ourselves a nice new district, Eagle Skies. We put ourselves an airport and connected it all up. Nice little short little project and I'm very pleased with the shape of it. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and leave any comments if you have any tasty, nasty, shiny, lovely ideas on what extra things I could do and name things in our city, particularly our district. Bye for now.